Big question keeps getting asked to me, what would you do or what advice would you give your 20 year old self? Man, so much advice. I was so screwed up when I was 20. It was unbelievable. Today I'm in Cabo San Lucas, beautiful Cabo San Lucas. And Stan just hit me and said, hey, what advice would you give your 20 year old self? He's 19 years old. Stan, let me tell you what, let me tell you what I would do. God, I wish I could go back since I can't. Um, what I can do is use this channel to help you maybe make some different decisions like I can my little champ right there, Scarlett. What's your t-shirt say? When things go wrong, go right. No, scratched out 10X. Yeah. Uh-oh, here's another one. So I'm with my kids, my wife, a couple of my employees and our team here in Cabo San Lucas. We just got off of a conference of 35,000 people and just got off the biggest real estate year I've ever had. We did almost $400 million of transactions last year. So look, 20 years old, let me tell you where I was. I was still in college. That was a mistake for me. I spent five years in college. I was in my second year of college. I was completely lost. I had lost my way. I had lost my purpose. I had lost uh, any sense of myself. I was trying to get other people to like me. Lost, lost, lost the idea that my dreams could become true. I don't even think I knew what my dreams were anymore. I'd had a couple of really big losses in my life. I'd lost my dad when I was 10 and then lost my older brother when I was 20 years old. He was 25 and he was, he was, both of these guys were my role models. Let's see if I can get behind this so it's not so windy. And, uh, yeah, 20 years old, I was, I was in college but wasn't committed to college. I was borrowing money to go to college. I was using drugs and alcohol almost daily, probably daily, for sure daily. <laughs> Skipping classes, no commitment. Fired from five or six jobs while I was going to college. Just making all the wrong decisions. Didn't know where I was going. Didn't have anybody to talk to, didn't have any mentors, didn't have a channel like this where I could go find somebody that would share their, their experiences. Didn't even know to ask the question, hey, what would you do? I didn't have anybody to ask. Hey, look, go if you could go back 20 or 30 years, what would you ask your 20 year self, 20, 20 year old self? Or what would you tell, what would you do different, right? So let me tell you what I would do different, okay? First of all, you gotta avoid the things that are not good for you. You're never gonna come, we've been here, we've been on vacation two weeks now. I was in Utah skiing with the kids. We go Utah, Deer Valley every year, ski. And um, and then we uh, came here, just like, we, we didn't have this trip planned. So let's go down to Cabo. We were cold. One day it was three degrees, the next day it was 73 degrees. So we came down here, why am I telling you that? When I was 25 years old, I turned my life around. Like, I'm like, I gotta get this thing in order. I almost died multiple times between 20 and 25. Finally, at 25 years old, I'm like, okay, I gotta turn this thing around for, for real now. And first thing I would tell you, 20 year old Grant, dude, drugs, alcohol, I don't care what drug you think you're doing that's okay, Grant, I'm just giving this advice to myself, leave all the drugs and the alcohol alone. They are a waste of time, energy, contrary to what people say, they do not make you more creative. They basically waste time. Any creativity you have, you can find without the assistance of any drugs, any alcohol. Two, number two, you gotta change your friends. Whoa. If your friends, you need to make these people your friends. <laughs> people that have time to get away, people that are working, people that are creative. Surround yourself with people that are doing things that, that are 
seeking to be better. I was, I was hanging around people that were destroying themselves every day. People that were criticizing others that were successful, that were wasting time. Beautiful rock. They weren't looking for anything except how everybody else was wrong, how they had been wrong. I know because I was doing this. I spent all my time talking about how the rich guy that was had his kids in tennis classes and golf classes uh, and they had a boat and they went skiing how he was such a prick and when reality oh, sorry guys didn't mean you to hear that when in reality she didn't hear that when in reality i should have been looking at dude, what did this guy do to create a situation where he could pay for his kids to learn tennis if they want to golf and skiing I was asking the wrong questions. I would tell my 20 year old self, change the questions you're asking. Change the way you look at things. Quit being so resentful and hateful. You know, quit, quit, get, get your game together, dude. Like, it doesn't matter that you lost your dad and you lost your brother and that you're hurt and you're angry. Get over it, man. And have something to look forward to. You know, the thing that's always interested me my whole life, and there's probably something for you, love to know what it is in comments below. Is there something that your whole life you're like, dude, I've always wanted to do that. Real estate has always been one of those things for me. Okay? So the, la the, 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 the one other thing that I would tell my 20-year-old self, look, I own seven businesses. And I would not tell you, I would not tell the 20-year-old Grant to go get six six businesses. I would tell him to learn everything he can about real estate. Everything. Real estate is the business that's allowed me to go on these magnificent trips that I'm taking my family on. I've been in business for myself for 30 years. Okay? Six businesses do not, six businesses combined do not allow me to go on these trips. It is the real estate by and of itself that's allowed me to take my wife and kids, employees, partners, friends on these magnificent trips. So I would tell the 20 year old Grant, hey, learn everything you can about a particular specific type of real estate. Not all real estate, a specific real estate. There's a very, very specific real estate that for hundreds of years has allowed them. everyday people, everyday common people to create lifestyles that were mind boggling. Yesterday we were on a yacht. Okay. Like out looking at whales. Uh, I've been gone for, I don't know, 12 days now. My plane's sitting over here at Cabo San Lucas Airport. I was flying out this morning. Check this out. Uh, I was flying out this morning because I had this, this legal issue that I had to tend to, this business matter. Let me sit down. And, uh, it was in Miami. I'm in Cabo. Remember, I'm in Cabo. Called up my pilots and I said, hey, get ready. I got to fly to Miami tomorrow. We're going to fly to Miami and back in one day so I can handle this issue. There is no business that I have that has enough finances to fuel a plane up. First of all, to buy a plane. Second, to fuel a plane up, fly all the way over there by myself and back in the same day. So... The real estate that you want to be invested in, 20 year old Grant, you guys are listening to me. Learn everything you can about income producing real estate. Okay, 32 units and above. I write about this in my book, How to Create Wealth Investing in Real Estate. I wrote this book because I know so many of you out there don't have the data, don't are not getting the right information because Wall Street is telling you to save your money. Wall Street and the banks they're telling you to save your money, put your money in a retirement account, 401k or 
a SEP program or an IRA. Folks, these, these things are scams, okay? They're telling you, they're telling you to buy a house, you know, buy a house, spend 20 or 30 years there. Hey, Sabrina, spend 20 or 30 years there. It's a way to save money. It is a scam. Listen to what I'm telling you. I'm begging you to figure this real estate thing out, Mr. 20-year-old Grant Cardone, okay? The only kind of real estate you want to invest in today is income producing real estate, 32 units and above, that provides at least $24,000 a year in positive cash flow. If you want to grab my book, I'll show you exactly what you should be looking at, what not to buy, what to buy, how to get funding on it, how to get financing on it, how to raise money for it, how to create a partnership for it if you want to, how to manage it, but most importantly, how to exit it because if you can't exit i know a lot of people in real estate right now i know a guy's got 600 houses he does not know how to get his money out of the 600 houses and if you can't exit then you're trapped so for 30 years when i started getting my life together it was about five years after i started getting my life together i started my dreams came back oh my god i want financial freedom i never wanted to be a billionaire i never wanted to have a plane Okay, I never thought about being an internet guru or like a leader of people or having a big following. I never thought about that. I had one dream, financial freedom. I had that dream of financial freedom because my dad died. And when my dad died, even though my dad had done well, it was obvious to me that we were not, we did not have financial freedom because my mom, who was the best friend of my entire life, was terrified. The week that she should have been in grief because of her husband dying, she was terrified because she knew the finances had stopped. So at the age of 10 years old, I wouldn't remember this until I was about 30, at the age of 10 years old, I realized, hey, look, when the money stops, everybody gets terrified. See, that can happen to a business, right? You could have a great business, you could have an e-commerce business and it could get destroyed because some some bad news comes out. Some bad news comes out about the products that you've been selling. Or some competitive advantage comes out and replaces that product. Or who knows, maybe the internet goes down. That's gonna happen in our lifetime. But when you invest in the right kind of real estate that produces income, that pays the expenses, that takes care of the property taxes, that allows for enough money to take care of the tenants and the security and the landscaping and the management, right? Anybody that's ever had a bad experience with, with real estate, I can tell you, guarantee you, I can tell you, it was less than eight units, probably in a bad location. You bought it because it looked like a great cash on cash return. You were bragging about some 20% cash on cash, and then as soon as the economy crashed, and or before that, uh, you couldn't keep the tenants in it. Tenants, termites, and toilets, they killed you. Not true. What killed you was, it didn't produce enough income to warrant the trouble. 30 years I've been buying real estate. I bought, bought over a billion dollars worth of real estate. One billion dollars. We own about $900 million of that real estate today. I started, uh, I started with one unit. My second deal was 38 units. My third deal was 48 units. My fourth deal was 92 units. Don't make mistakes buying the wrong stuff. If you hit the link below, I'll send you the book for free. You take care of the shipping. If, you st if you're outside the US, by the way, all this applies, these rules apply to outside the US. Hit the international button. Because sometimes shipping outside the US is so, ridiculously expensive. I don't want you guys to, 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 to waste that much money on shipping and then it gets tied up in customs. God, this place is beautiful. By the way, this is not the kind of real estate I'm talking about. All this, all this real estate right here is garbage. You're like, what? Garbage. This is for rich people that are bored. Not creating people. These people are not creating anymore. They're like, hey, Let's just blow six million on this little joint. We'll come here once or twice a year. This is a ridiculous. All this real estate right here is some of the dumbest investment real estate in the world.
that house you live in. D-U-M-B, you need to put that on a refrigerator. Dumb. Why is it dumb? Because it doesn't pay you. If it doesn't pay you, it's not a good investment. I know some of you are gonna hate on me for this. You're gonna be like, man, a house is a good investment. Only because you've been told that. It's not a good investment. Never has been a good investment except for one group. Which group benefited from housing in America more than any other group? More than the person that lived there. Who benefited the most? Post in comments below. Okay, so look, on the book, if you want to grab the book, I'm going to go play with my kids now. we got another three or four days here. Um, if you want to grab the book, you can go to Amazon, read all the five-star reviews. People love this book. Easy to read, simple, not complicated, no big words. I think they're selling the book for 20 bucks or something. Grab the book there, check out the reviews, or hit the link below. You can get the book for free. That's what I'm telling my 20-year-old self. Right, leave the drugs and alcohol alone. Leave it alone until you get your money right. You want to go experiment later and become Charlie Sheen and do it later. Okay, two, change your friends. Hang with the people that are dreaming. Hang with the people that are doing, not the people that are complaining, bitching, moaning, groaning, negative. You got negative Nellies, I don't care if it's your mom or your dad, brother, uncle, sister. I don't care if you, you, you were born in the womb with it. If they negative, get rid of those people and replace them with people that are positive, people that are doing things. The third thing, start learning about real estate right now, right this second, okay? If you can figure out how to start buying this stuff yourself or create a partnership or find somebody, find somebody that's out putting their own money, their own time, their own energy in deals and partner with them, I promise you it will provide you with financial freedom that will boggle your mind in the future. It takes time, okay? It's not gonna be easy, but I guarantee you this, nothing's easy, you know that. I guarantee you this. This is the one business that will be here 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now. It will take care of your family after you're gone. I could die right now. I could have a heart attack on this beach right now. The real estate that I own will take care of my family and my charities for decades, probably centuries to come. So that's the advice I would give my 20 year old self. Man, last, last piece of advice. Help a lot of people once you make it, man. Help a lot of people. Make it so you can help people. You can't help anybody if you don't make it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you like it, post it. If you liked it, post a comment. If you don't like it, let me know. God bless you. Good luck investing.